Thanks for watching my videos on YouTube at How I Think. So this would be a part three in a series of videos that I'm doing on OSPF. In my first video, we showed you how to do a basic OSPF setup. In the second video, we introduced uh, multi-area OSPF, as you can see in the diagram. Third video, we're going to do virtual links. So right now, we have a multi-area OSPF setup. As you can see, we have area 1, area 2, 3, 4, and the backbone area is 0. And we're able to ping from here all the way to here. So we know routes are working fine. We've, we tested that in our previous video. But we're unable to ping from this network area 4 to area 1. We don't have any routes for those. We can verify it by doing a ping. So from router 1, if I do 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 21, which is the IP address here, as you can see, we're unable to ping. And vice versa, if I do the same thing on router A, ten, 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 one, we're unable to ping. We don't have any routes. And if you look at our routing table up here, see we don't have anything in there. Well, to fix that, implement something called virtual links. Now, how does that work? Well, it works like this. In order for you to ping from here to here, we have to create a virtual link from router 8 to router 6. And then we have to create a virtual link from router 3 to router, from router 1 to router 3. We do that because in order for virtual links to work, one of the routers have to be, the ABRs have to reside in area 0 because area 0 is the backbone. That's the, that's the default area that you have to have. So you have to have some sort of a connection to going from one area to the other area through area 0 and if you notice in this topology the commonality between um, this area and area 0 is the transit area which is area 3 and between area 1 and area 0 our transit area is area 2 right this is how the route is going to be tunneled right from router 1 it's going to be a virtual route that comes here and from router 8 there's going to be a virtual route that comes to router 6 so area 2 and area 3 are considered transit areas and you have to have those and once we set up our virtual link then we'll be able to ping these two so we're on router 1 All right. and remember router ID for router 1 is 111 and the router ID for router 3 is 333 you have to use the router ID to create a virtual link, okay? So I'll bring this to the side here a little bit. And we'll type config t ospf router ospf1 and we'll say area 3 because that's a uh, Area 2, because this is our transit area, space, virtual link, and because we're on router 1, we're saying area 2, create a virtual link to router 3. 3.3.3.3, and hit enter. That's it. Now, if we go back to router 3, you'll see that now we're getting messages saying, hey, we received an invalid packet mismatch. It's saying that there is a virtual link message we're getting, but we have nothing set up. That's perfect, that's what you want because we haven't set anything up yet. So now in router 3, we do the same thing. We go into config mode, and we type in area 3, oops, area 2, because that's our transit area for. Oops, we have 
we're going to router OSPF first, I forgot. OSPF1, area 2, virtual link. Now we specify the router ID of router 1. And that one, that one, that one. So hit enter. Hit end. So there we go. Now an adjacency has been performed with router 1.1.1.1 via virtual link 0. If I say show IP OSPF interface brief, it shows us that our virtual link is created now. So now if I say show IP route, there you go. Now we have a inter area route to 10, 10, 10, 0. So now that that route is here, if I come back to router A and say show IP route, let's see if that gets populated. There you go. Now it's populated all the way down. It trickled all the way down to router 8. So now if I say ping 10.10.10.1, we should be able to ping. Success. There we go. But if we go to router 1 and try pinging router 8, we're not going to be able to do that. But before we do that, let me just make sure we know for a fact that the virtual link is set up, but just for demonstration purposes. I want to verify it. Okay, that's there. Now if I say ping 10.10.20.1, we're not able to ping because remember the virtual link from here has not been set up yet. So for that what we do is we come to router 8 and we do the exact same process. We're going to do a virtual link from 8 using the transit area 3 to 6 and vice versa. So we're going to do, we're going to, go into config mode and type in router OSPF1 and this is area 3 and this is virtual link. We're going to go from 8, we're going to go to 6. So router ID 6.6.6.6. .6 .6 .6 .6. We hit enter. Now if you notice here, router 6 is now saying, hey, I'm getting these invalid packets for virtual link. Perfect, that's what we wanted. So here, we do the same thing. Area 3, virtual link, 8.8.8.8. And now, He told us that an adjacency was created, and there we go, we have a virtual link. Now, if I say show IP OSP, show IP route, we should have a inter area route for 10, 10, 10, 20. There we go. If I come back to one, show IP route, we should have the route in here now dynamically created for us. There we go. So now we should be able to. 10 10 21 success so there you go that's how you create virtual links very easy cool well I hope you enjoyed this video on OSPF and virtual links and my next video we're gonna do a new diagram and we'll inject some rip into our OSPF and we'll do some route summarization and we'll see how that looks so thanks for watching and have a good day.